Hello guys and welcome back. I'm Mitch Green and today we will talk about our very first investment. I will talk about how I choose my first stock, the thoughts and mind process of it, why I do what and so on. So keep on watching and welcome to the Mitch Green project. So let's start with today's first topic, which is fear of getting in. In the optimal world, we want to buy a stock when it has a low value and sell it when it has a high value. And the fear of people making mistakes like when it's low enough and when it's high enough, you never get in. It can be a struggle. And if there's something people really are afraid of, then it is to make mistakes. And guys, I totally understand that. But we just have to accept the fact that we cannot see into the future. No one can. Even the guys who use all day analyzing stock patterns, they can give a qualified guess, but they can't see into the future. Neither can you, neither can I. There have been some pretty cool experiment in the past where they put a group of professional investors and a group of monkeys to invest over a certain amount of time. And you know what? They did equally good because no one of them, not the monkeys, not the professional investors, can look into the future. But what we can say is we can look in the past and the past tells us that the stock increases in average by seven to 10%. Should we buy now, buy now? It's low, it's low. No, not anymore. Hi, 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 went to buy, went to buy, went to buy, come on. Just fucking do it. I'm afraid. Exactly, just do it. Maybe you don't get in at the total right time in the optimal situation, but you're gonna own this stock for a long period of time. What really matters is that you give it time to grow over a long period of time. The sooner you get started, the better. So guys, get in or miss out on all the good money. Your choice. So the next topic of today will be do your own research. So I know it's easy just to get told what to invest in and then they promise you, wow, they're gonna go up to the moon. But no guys. Invest your money in something you believe in and something you can stand by. Do your research and see, is this company doing what I want? Do I believe in them in the future? And so on. It's really important to, it's your money, it's your investment, and you can only blame yourself in you, if you lose the money. So invest in something you believe in. If you want someone to blame, it should always be yourself. If you don't like what I'm about to invest in today, it's totally fair just to go another direction. It's your money, it's your investment. Okay, so let's get on with the next topic, which is dividends or not. So should you go with dividends or not? That's really not a right and wrong answer here. Some people totally swear to dividends. Some people want to mix. Maybe some people avoid them. So what you should know about dividends is, it's a percentage of the stock paid out to the shareholder each year. Some companies say, okay, I take some of the money and pay to the shareholders. The stocks that don't yield dividends use the money to invest in further growth within the company, which means that they want to get that stock value to increase even further. And they can do that with innovation and they need money for that. So if you want to go with dividend stocks, just know the money you get could potentially go for further investment within the company. What you choose is up to you. I will personally go for a mix, but there is really no right and wrong here. Next topic, it's too late to get started. It's never too late, invest in your future. Thank me later. Next. If you have seen my previous video, you will know that I will invest in software today. And it was actually quite easy for me because there's really one software company I truly, truly believe in. And as a software developer, I can't see anything stop them. Today's company drive innovation so hard that they keep on surprising me year after year. They're not afraid to take a chance and see the future way beyond 
any of us. I'm really excited to see what we will get from them in 10 years or 20 years or 30 years even. My choice today will be Google. Google is the center point of the internet. They have close to 5.5 billion searches each day, which is over 2 trillion searches per year. If you want to explore the internet, you go through Google. That is truly amazing. Google own YouTube, which is the biggest video platform to date. And YouTube have been continuously rising in popularity since 2005. So many people find their video content through YouTube. 5 billion videos are watched on YouTube every single day. It just blows my mind. Google is the developer of the Android OS system for smartphone, which is by far the most popular OS for smartphones today. With 75% of the market share in September 2019. They have the Google Play app where everybody can develop new and innovative ideas on how to use a smartphone. I personally use it every day. Google has influenced my life in so many ways that I can't keep track of it anymore. Personally, I use Android, Google Search and YouTube every single day. And the chances are that you do too. And guys, you probably already know it, but there's so much more Google to talk about. I could keep on for hours and hours. Just to mention a few other things Google have going for them. There is Google Maps, Chromebooks, there's Wear OS for smartwatches, and they have the Google Stadia. But Google is not sitting still. They have so much going for them right now. And I have a long list down here. And I will mention some of the things you can expect from Google in the future. So first off, probably all of you know it, is self-driving cars. And you have the AI, next generation of voice assistant, smart home, delivery drones, smart contact lenses. Breather. Okay, internet beaming hot air balloons, internet beaming drones, cancer detecting pills, robots and deep learning. Wow. If one of these gets successful, the stocks will increase even more. Guys, I just have to be a part of this company. What they're doing is cool. What they have been doing is really cool. And I can't wait for the future within Google. Just some of the stuff I read up earlier is blows my mind. It's really, really cool. So count me in. So the next thing I want to do is to invest in Google. Okay guys, here we go. Alphabet Inc. Class A common stock Google. It's not gonna go up entirely in the $1400. That's all right. I'm gonna invest right now in Google. Confirm. Buy. Close. That's it. My first stock. My wary first stock. Now we are in the game, getting ready for financial freedom. See you in the next video. So thank you guys for keeping with me this far. It has been a lot of fun to make this video and I will make a lot more in the future. So each month I will take the results so you can see the statistics how much I earned in passive income or how much I lost. And we'll do this for the next 20 years. So keep following along and see how well I can do with passive income. Peace.